Hi friends! I'm so excited for this activity today. We're actually going to make three different games with one set of materials to celebrate and practice empathy. And I know you and your family are going to have a lot of fun with this one. Today, we're going to make the pieces for you and your family to play Feelings Charades, Feelings Hide and Seek, and so that you and your family can have a feelings dance party. It's a great way to have some fun using empathy all together. So to start, just grab any piece of paper and we're just gonna make small pieces with this paper so that we can draw various feelings. So what I do is just cut a strip and I make each square about an inch and a half by an inch and a half. And depending on how many feelings you want to use in your games, you can decide how many squares you want to make. And then you're going to draw various feelings. So just as an example, I'll show you how I might draw happy. Here are some of the ideas from my family. My kids and I came up with the various feelings they wanted to use. So we have happy, silly, sad, oh, sleepy, surprised, mad. And this one is my favorite, calm. <laughs> so come up with your own. You can have as many or as few feelings as you like. It's just always a bunch of fun. Once you come up with your feelings, you can start playing your games. What I do is use a bag, a hat, a bowl, anything you have, anything you have around the house that will work for you and your family. Put all those feelings in the bag. Now for charades, you can probably imagine how to play. The player who is trying to get the family to guess the feeling will pick out a feeling and then act without using words in a way to try to get the family to guess. In this case, it would be silly. So it's really fun to see what each of the family members come up with and how they interpret the different feelings. The second game, Feelings Hide and Seek, everybody who is hiding will pick a feeling. And then while the person is hiding, as an example here is happy, the person can act it out in their hiding spot. So they can use sounds. So for happy, perhaps as I'm hiding, I, I may whistle a tune or I may say, oh, what a wonderful day, things like that. And it can be a lot of fun once the seeker finds the person um, to guess, oh, you must be happy and I found you. It's just been really fun for my family. Lots of laughing and lots of playfulness with that one. Finally, the dance party where you can get your groove on. Everybody in the family picks a different feeling and you play a song and of course you have to move your body with that feeling in mind and that can be a lot of fun. Again, you can make it a guessing game or you can just make it a celebration of feelings where during that song you're all expressing yourselves with different feelings. And then when the next song comes on, you can repick and explore with different feelings. So hope you have fun with these. I know these are big hits around my house. Really simple to do and can lead to hours of fun.